Let's do some serious talk quickly before we carry on with the rest of the fun when Johnny joins me. And so it's time to discuss Citizen Check. And basically, this is a group of young individuals who have decided to make themselves the voice of the youth. And so whatever it is that's on the streets, on social media, where the youth are complaining about things that are not going right in the country, they serve as a channel or the medium uh, with which the youth can send their message to the people in power to ensure that they do the right things. And so they're celebrating one year since they started this uh, group. And so they're here to tell us all about it. And so in the studios, I have Lord... Ham Kwate, he's the head of communications and Evans Lueke Kualo. I hope I got it right, administrator. So you are Evans. Sure. Okay, and you are Lord Ham Kwate. Yeah. Good to have you. And happy one year anniversary. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, you tell much. me more about the group Citizen Check. Yeah, um, Citizen Check, um, as you rightly said, is a non political, non denominational, and a non aligned movement, mm. non aligned group that seeks to help governments, all governments, that helps serve all governments to at least solve social problems within our societies. The group stands to serve as a media between the populace and then the government. Okay, sure. okay. And how it's been there for a year. A year. Why was there a need to set it up? Yeah, um, we came to the realization that um, um, sometimes there is this misunderstanding between especially the youth, that's the ghettos, the streets, mm. and then getting their plights, getting their problems to the government. Okay. Um, these are people that are, uh, let's say, not much educated. Um, and so when they're having problems, for them, once their issues are not getting to the government, they stand to say anything that mm -hmm. they want. And so we taught it as wise that it isn't everything in the society that the government will be able to do them for us. Okay. But when there are problems, we are the first people to be affected. Yeah. And so um, issues like um, sanitation within mm -hmm. our societies and stuff like that, let us form a group. Let this group become a media between um, the people and then the government. Now, once we are a group and we are a lot, it's easy getting the information to okay. the government. I see. How effective has it been? And Lord, I'm bringing you in for mm -hmm. um, this part of the conversation. Well, um, thank you. Thank you very much. It has been very good mm. um, so far, um, considering the fact that we, we have been able to go down to the people. Um, where we are, it, it, we are like a conduit between the, the streets and the elites, let me put it that way. Okay. And so we have a way of getting their information and we have a way of getting the information to the right people mm. and so i mean over the years i mean over time i mean we've been able to um do certain things of this nature i mean it, it has helped yeah okay yeah. and what's been the biggest challenge because i know that when it comes to sanitation it's not only a concern for the youth it's for every Ghanaian. And just this week, we were talking about how even the people who are supposed mm. to be ensuring that the laws are implemented are the ones littering, you know, the party mm -hmm. grounds and all of that. And so that's a big problem. But for the young people especially, what's their biggest challenge in the country? Is it unemployment? Is it, what exactly is it? Well, one, one thing is, I mean, when, when this movement started, I mean, when we had our first walk, I mean, they, they came with placards and, and you realize that some of the things that they wrote on the placards were unemployment, corruption, mm. and that's what was on their hearts. Heart. And okay. that's what they brought us. So I think unemployment is, is, is one thing. Because you step out and you realize that a lot of, a lot of the youth actually come out um, anytime. So you realize that they don't have anything to do. To do. They don't mm. have anything doing. Okay. I think the major problem is unemployment for the Who youth. do you communicate some of these challenges to? Directly to the president? Are you able to get through to him? Who, who exactly listens to your plight? There are, there are channels, okay. right? So, I mean, if, if it's something that the assembly has to do, I mean, we go to the assembly. Okay. If, if we have okay. to go to um, a member of parliament, I mean, then you do so. we, we do that. So I you mean, do we, have access to yes, all we those channels? Do. Yes, we do. Okay, but one year into this, what's the plan? What are we celebrating and how are we celebrating it? Yeah, um, there are a list of activities that we undertaking. Mm. There will be donations to all the prisons. Mm. Okay. We will be having some uh, donations to some of the schools in Tema, some selected schools in Tema. 
We will also be having a general cleaning at some of the hospitals and then donation as well. And then one one of the major one of the major activity that we will be undertaking is the health work. Okay. Um, the health work will be one of the biggest work that we're going to have in Tema. Okay. Yeah. The final Actually. work of all works, and then this is the work that we would love to put everybody together: the streets, the corporates, celebrities, and everybody. And everybody. And yeah. and, right. and so for the work, for instance, we 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 haven't. Sarkodie okay. coming. We're having R2Bs coming. We're having Stone Boy coming. Okay. We're having Shatawali coming. Darko Vibes. And these are all confirmed. The, yeah, all confirmed. confirmed. And yeah. all Where of you them are from? coming. We, we're starting at the community center, okay. community one, one. Tema, right. yeah. through the uh, principal streets. I of see. Tema. And, and this is happening on the 28th? 28th. Time is 6 a.m. sharp. sharp. Well, if you want to meet your favorite personalities, and I hope that some government officials yeah. will join in the walk as well, yeah. uh, so that it won't just be a regular meet and greet, but you have the opportunity to channel your grievances to the rights authorities so yeah. that they can effect some change, hopefully, especially since 2020 is election year. I'm sure they'll listen to us even better. <laughs> this is all time will allow, but happy anniversary to you all. Thank, thank Keep you up the much. good work. Thank you. Yeah, thank and we you wish you the very best. Thank you. All right, I've been oh, speaking to what well, you have. Words, yeah, so okay. I mean, I like to say, um, you know, everything rises and falls under leadership, you know, C.S. Lewis. Yeah. And, and so, I mean, those who actually thought it wise to make sure that this thing, um, citizen check, is actually the movement that's supposed to be. I like to say um, big thanks to um, the top dog, um, okay. Muda Mahmoudou. Um, the vice, that, he's the president, the vice president, um, All right. Lord Rampa. All right. And, All right. you know, Lengi. All right. Thank and you myself. so much. You're saying thank you to yourself. Oh, and myself. I see. For <laughs> for Lord Ham Quarte is the head of communications, yeah. and Ivan Zalueke Kolo is the administrator for Citizen Check. And uh, I'm sure if you go on social media, you can find them 